Hello Capricorn, this is Sue from Sweet Love Tarot. And this is your June 2018 reading. I've been absent for a while, taking care of some things, but uh, I've got a handle on them now and everything's fine. Better than fine. In fact, I feel, I feel like I'm on some kind of a high now, um, which is, I guess, um, when the pendulum swings, if you are accustomed to having uh, things go your way all the time, um, you might not appreciate that as much uh, as when things don't go well for what seems like most of the time. When you do hit a high, you feel really good and sometimes you don't even know why, <laughs> why you're on a high, which is the case with me. Um, I feel good for no good reason. <laughs> So anyway, for Capricorn, June 2018, Four of Wands, happy home. Um, you had been uh, doing a little introspection, uh, looking within, taking time out, not really letting your emotions get too um, involved, looking for clarity, really. Um, and it seems as if, if there was something in the past, an idea, a person that you had moved away from, or you're moving back in that direction. Moving back to something or someone from your past. Um, temperance. With patience. And um, maybe with a collaborative thought in mind of combining two things, two ideas. And finally, letting go of burdens of the past. You, um, you've carried this, these burdens for a long time and you kind of feel like you've been the Lone Ranger, you know, nobody helping you out. You have, you have uh, shouldered the weight of something and carried it for a long time. And now it's, you're letting it go. This is the Ten of Wands in Reverse in the Mystical Tarot. It's by Giuliano Costa, if anyone's interested. Uh, it's an Italian deck. Uh, yeah, mystical Tarot. Uh, beautiful cards. This is Temperance. And she's clearly pouring uh, liquid from one cup into the other. And some folks say that the, you know, you've know you got the Two of Cups here. And um, they're combining. So... The Two of Cups could be a successful partnership, relationship, um, yeah, uh, and perhaps that is let, allowing you to let go of those burdens. Hmm. Oh. Um, the, the Page of Swords, um, in the reverse, even, even in the upright, the Page of Swords isn't the best of the pages. Uh, he's kind of sneaky and, and watches people. And um, uh, without really giving clarity about his intentions. Uh, <laughs> yes, someone who... They have the truth. They know the truth. Uh, I don't know if this is you or someone that you're dealing with. But they're not forthcoming. Uh, they might be uh, engaging in a little stalking behavior, you know, watching you on social media, um, or you know, in the reverse, that could be you. But anyway, uh, now you've got the chariot. Uh, movement, forward movement, good. It, it, it could possibly be moving, um, you know, your whole, you know, actually physically moving house. Um, but, uh, to me, it's more of a movement, uh, in your mind, uh, or of your mind, your spirit, uh, maybe something that you've learned that's helped you move forward. Uh, yes, movement. Uh, still no balance, though. You've got, uh, the two of pentacles here. 
so not only are you standing on a top, but you are juggling two pentacles or coins. And there's there's two ships behind you, and one of them's actually sinking. <laughs> uh, why would that make me laugh? <laughs> I'm I'm really not a mean person. Oh oh, okay. Uh, we have the tower in reverse. Uh, generally speaking, the tower uh, in the upright uh, speaks of uh, an abrupt ending um, and a new beginning. Um, that's the thing with the tower. I mean, it, it's, it, uh, but in reverse, I would have to say uh, maybe this has to do with breaking down of something inner. A structure that you had in your mind that um, you figured this is how it is and perhaps this is not how it is and with this in the reverse I don't see it as um, I don't see it as a major uh, hit to you and I don't think you feel that way Okay, now the moon. Something is not what it seems. Um, you can kid yourself uh, sometimes. Um, and the moon, um, this is an interesting card. Uh, I, I, I spoke about this in one of the other videos It came up. but uh, And I don't think you could really see what I was talking about. But the moon... Uh, in this card, uh, above, uh, you know, in the sky, it appears to be two people's faces, one facing the point of view of the viewer and one looking to the side. Um, and in the reflection, they are kissing. So that's, I don't know if that's an indicator of what it is that you've, that is not what it seems. Um, but everything around seems distorted. Strength. Okay. Uh, you've got the strength to get past this, to, to push through the, um, the illusion. Because uh, this is something you can master. Queen of Cups in the upright. Uh, so this is a mature energy and a loving energy. Um, somebody who's very nurturing and caring. Uh, and generally, the, the cups are of emotion and they are of love. Um, uh, but it could be in any form. Uh, you know, it could be a friendship, a, a love relationship. Uh, but this seems like uh, that is there for you. So, yeah. So you can have the strength. You can be out of balance and have things not appear what they really are, but you've got the strength to carry on and you've got the, the care behind you. Uh, Four of Pentacles. Uh, this is uh, indicating that perhaps um, you're holding a little tight onto something, perhaps too tight, um, yeah, this could indicate that maybe you need to let loose a little bit. Um, yeah, go forward. Have fun. And the Queen of um, Wands. So this is a, this is a, a fire sign energy, um, but just basically means passion. Uh, an idea brewing maybe or a person coming into your life as this Queen of Cups perhaps is. But this is someone that maybe fuels a, a different side of you, um, a passion, uh, something that you care very deeply about. And a message coming in from the Page of Wands. Um, there again, it's a, it's a message of passion. Or something you're passionate about. I feel like I need 
something to clarify. I have the romance angels over here. Maybe I should. Is this looking like a romantic reading, folks? Let's see what Doreen Virtue has to say. I didn't pull any Doreen Virtues for any other readings, but it, this is a different day. <laughs> oh, okay. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay, well, um, that's a good clarifier for because it, it left it at a little bit of a, huh? So, <laughs> so there you go. Stay optimistic. Um, that's never bad advice. And so that, that's it for you for uh, this uh, general slash love reading uh, for June 2018, Capricorn. Uh, I hope it was helpful to you. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.